Praise the Lord. Yes. I had to come out here to Sand Lake. I, you know, I'm going to Sand Lake and just try to encourage someone as our Father would bless me to do so. I pray that His will be done. So this is Sand Lake. I come out here from time to time. I've been coming out here for years, but I haven't been out here in a few months. As I'm going to Sand Lake and try to encourage someone. So here we go. I never imagined that I would hear that, I'm sorry, Mr. Davis, but you have cancer. Not that I'm too good or, you know, couldn't handle the news. And I think about all my friends who, and people I've come across in, in life, who've had to share their diagnosis with me. And I would try to be encouraging. I would ask all the wrong questions. I would say all the wrong things. I would say stuff like, how you feeling? You know, <laughs> as I leave this alone. And, and, and lo and behold, our father would have it that it's, it's, it's my day, it's my turn. It, it, you, you, you ache, you hurt, you wonder if the cancer has spread to that area of your body. You wonder if you're gonna have to have surgery, chemo, radiation, um, the immunotherapy and all the other treatments. You wonder if it's gonna be invasive or non-invasive. You, you, you just wonder. But I know that I must keep my hand in our Father's eternal hand, His almighty hands, His, His, His unchanging hands. I must keep my hand uh, in the hands of Jehovah Rophi, our God who heals. He's given us scientists, He's given us doctors. Cardiologists, oncologists, radiologists, uh, anesthesiologists. <laughs> He's given us so much intelligence and education and even bless uh, those a day with wisdom. So I was sitting here feeling kind of rough at the house. I said, you know, I'm going to get out and try to encourage someone. It's beautiful out here. And, and so now as I find myself in the same valley as some of you are in, some of you who are, I have come out of, and some of you who may one day have the same valley on railway. Now I know how it feels emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, internally. I know how it feels now to have been diagnosed with cancer. But I also know that our Father has blessed me to have a relationship with Him. Oftentimes I receive inbox messages and voicemails and emails from producers and people and, and, and trying to uh, hire me. And the first time they got the nerve to say, man, we're going to be rich. And our Father told me a long time ago, the first person that come in contact with you and say, we're going to reach the masses. That's the one you sign with. And I pray our Father for the person that's saved and that know you and just want to help somebody will give me the opportunity to encourage the world. I am his encourager, and I'm going to try to encourage everyone I come in contact with. When I came out of the military, I was so messed up. Six years. Six years depressed. Six years inside in a cave. Hooked on everything but the Most High God. And he came and got me out of that. Every situation I found myself in, every challenge, uh, every condition, every path, every road I found myself in, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be his holy and righteous name, has came and got me for himself. So we have to keep our hand in God's unchanging hand, regardless of the diagnosis, regardless of the situation, regardless of the physical, the location, the condition you find yourself in. 
and our Father will see you through. So Heavenly Father, I ask you to bless me. <laughs> Look at this. To bless me. To bless everyone who's going through. To bless them, Heavenly Father. To go through. To come out first. And Father God, please come back and get me. And pull me through. I'm praying for someone else, Heavenly Father. And Father God, bless me to hold to your unchanging hand. Bless those of us who are going through, need to be pulled through, need to be guided through. Bless us, Heavenly Father, to hold your unchanging hand, regardless of the diagnosis, regardless of the prognosis, regardless of the situation. Bless us, Holy Father, to hold your unchanging hand. You're the only answer to cancer in every situation in this world. So we thank you, Heavenly Father, for this time with you. Peace, Heavenly Father. We beg of you, one Heavenly Father, that's who you are. Amen.